Version 9.3 of SAP Business One introduced a new feature for routing in the Bill of Materials and Production Orders. While it's easy to use, there's no need of reporting for it in SAP Business One. Hello, I'm Steve Lipton, the author of SAP Business One Reporting and Customization and several more courses on SAP Business One in the LinkedIn Learning Library. In this mini course, I'm going to extend the reporting and customization course to teach you two more features, subreports and subqueries. In Crystal Reports, we'll make a production report that shows routing when it has them and skips them when it doesn't. We'll learn SQL subqueries to understand the files to use and why they are a bit of a pain. While I'll explain what I'm doing, you might want to take the SAP Business One Reporting and Customization course if you have no experience with SQL or Crystal Reports, but feel free to follow along. Here's a bill of materials for an LM4029, a Le Mans 4029 printer. For routing, I'm going to need two more columns. So go up to where it says Form Settings up here, a little icon, and we're going to turn on the Type which for some of you might already have. And you'll also find one all on the bottom called Route Sequence, which I'm going to turn that one on and hit OK. And that changes our screen so that we have an extra column over here and an extra column over here. Now you'll see that the items have this drop down. And you can go into them and you can see that there are various things you can put in here, an item, a resource, some text. And the one we're interested in is the route stage. Now, there's two ways you can type these in. One is you can insert them. So I'm going to put one on top here. I can right click here and go to add row. And when I do that, I get another one with item. I'm going to change this item to a route stage. And then I can go to the little circle under number here. And instead of item numbers, I get the stages. Now, I have two stages already. I have one for an internal component and one for quality control. I'm going to go ahead and choose the internal one, and that adds the internal component to the top part here. Now I'm going to add another route stage. I'm going to go down the bottom here and add another route stage. That route stage, I'm going to add one more stage because I need an external component one. And I can't do it right from here, but there's another button here called New, which will add it. That goes to, by the way, if you're interested, over here in modules, this is the same as administration, setup, production, route stages. So you can get to it either way. Um, I'm going to make this external, and it'll be add. External components. And I'm going to hit update. And that operation is successful, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And by doing that, I've now put in the external components. Now, I've got the power supply and the sheet paper drawer are both external in this case, let's say. So the other way I can do this is I can click on the 7 there for the route stage, on the number, and I can hit the arrows on the side here to move them up. I can also move some of these things into the right place if I need to. Uh, everything else looks fine. The system board, the memory chip, the printer head is all internal components, so they're in the right place. Notice on the side here, we've got a route sequence. So once we've put in a route stage, everything underneath this, until it finds another route stage, will be the same route sequence. So this one is one, this one is two. So you've got that all set, and we have routing added to our BOM, I can now go down here and update my bill of materials and close this up. And I'm going to scoot on down here to production and add a production order. And I'm going to want another LM4029. And there it is, the product. And you can see as soon as I do that, it copies it from the bill of materials, and I now have my routing stages already in here. And I've got the route sequence and the number the same. So it says here's internal, here's external, here's my descriptions. And everything is set up right so we can group things well. 
And this is great, but it does have one small problem. And if you go to, I'm going to update this, first of all, and add it, and go back to that record. I'm going to do a print preview here. You can see that we get a production order, but the production order has no routing on it. There is no report that comes native with SAP Business One that puts the routings in it. So we're going to need to make our own. And I'm going to start to do that in the next video by looking at the files you're going to need in SQL. If you want to know about SQL, Crystal Reports, and more Business One features, I do suggest checking out all my SAP Business One courses in the LinkedIn Learning Library.